Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Marignan. We are still in the late ages. If you remember last time we left off, our god, whose name I am still going to refuse to try and pronounce just because I don't want to embarrass anybody, managed to cast Reascendance, meaning he has summoned a fallen angel from hell. In fact, there it is. The Sevalod. That's a powerful weapon. 29 damage. That's actually... And it's a length 3... 25 invulnerable. Hell of a lot of leadership on this guy. He's also sacred. Okay, so sacred inside, the, inside of my dominion. That's a very important factor. The only thing I'm gonna the only thing I really want to do more than that is the bind demon lord. Because I mean what is actually Whoa, that's uh that's terrifying. Let's not do that. Because I use non blood magic spells. I forget what it's called. Actually, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's Blood Vortex. I need to save up a lot of... So I need to save up a lot more. <coughs> I need to save up a lot more Blood Slaves. I get three per turn. Twenty-five... 30 35 40 45 50 because the going to become one of our new one of our new our new commanders in fact uh, let's actually go to army setup your entire job is going to be past is be casting spells Sixty light infantry versus a hundred Marignan, hundred of a Mar of Marignan's elite. Off you go. <coughs> yeah, you can also do blood sacrifices for blood mages. What they what blood magic or what blood sacrifice does is it acts as a pre as a stronger preaching. Some uh, there's actually a nation Mictlan that their dominion can only spread when they do blood sacrifices. So they are actually a rather difficult nation to play. They're also the nation I played during my shortest game, where I was in like turn six or seven or something, very early in the game, and I got a negative event that had the Dominion in my home province pull a 180. So everybody in my province went from believing in me to basically treating me like I didn't exist. It literally ended the game right there. As for, I mentioned last time that I I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4, and how crazy it is. Yeah, I remember Fallout 3, and to a lesser extent New Vegas, where you run into a, once you hit about level 7 or 8, you run into a super mutant, and it's not a big threat. I'm about level 13 or 14, and I have to run from super mutants at times. To be fair, a lot of that, some of that does come down to the fact that I've, I have very little ammo for anything. I mean, I have, uh, I think I've got plenty of 308 ammo, but I don't use pipe guns very often because they're kind of shit. I honestly prefer having my 10 mil, like my 10 millimeter pistol or my or my combat shotgun, ready, because especially the combat shotgun. What the? 
Oh, that was me attacking them. Well. Ooh, resources. That's always good. And a free nature gem. We're going to go ahead and raise the province defense all the way up to 100 on this one. Because, like I said, that's the last of the wall. That's really the last of the wall provinces. Actually, wait, no, it's not. So, actually, I guess I'm going to have to do a full surround. Actually, I could just take. Eric Balcor. Not immediately. I might have Vesevalod take care of that. Plus two for up to four squads. That's actually really good. Hmm. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. I might actually not go all the way to level nine on Blood Magic before switching over. In fact, I don't think I'm going to. It does... As long as I get to level eight, I think I get Blood Vortex, which is the Blood magic, the blood slave generator spell. I just need to check on that before I, before I commit to that. Also, if you make a comment on a video, guys, don't be surprised if it takes me a while to react to it. I do read the comments, but the thing is, I can't immediately react to them because I, I record all of these in bulk. Like, uh, like the last episode. I literally recorded, I stopped recording that one, like I finished it by the timer, and then pretty much went straight into this one. There was maybe a minute window between the two of them. Well, the game is back on, so... Still one nothing, and third's been going on for the third period's been going on for just under eight minutes. Still tied at one. But yeah, like I said, I like I said last time as well. I've been playing as as a time of recording. I've been playing a lot of NHL 16. I was actually a little surprised because one of the trophies, all of the player trophies are handed out at the end of the playoffs when when a team wins the Stanley Cup. For a while, it looked like I had won what's known as the the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy. It's B Y N G. It's not the search engine. And I was sitting there like, and my girlfriend pointed out, "How did I win that?" I was getting into fights all all over the place, because what the Lady Bing is for is uh, basically the nicest player in the NHL, and definitely wasn't me, because I was. After a while, I decided that my job, part of my job as playmaker, was to be was to start fights and beat the snot out of people. I still kind of do that, although to be fair, I don't start fights. The only time I'm kind of aggressive about starting a fight is if somebody goes to attack one of my teammates. Whoops, that's not good. And I got income over there. So. And I'm not going to build a lab. How many troops does Karma actually still have? Hmm. Send him up north. From Bayville up to the Sodden Merc. Okay, that's actually weak enough. I'm going to send him in. Because this will serve as the last of the walls. And we've got a wall there. And one there. I 
she had a pretty good income. What's my treasury actually at? Oh wait, no, that is my treasury. My income is over there. I got them mixed up for some reason. Probably because I don't usually think about that very often. Also gonna go ahead and recruit another assassin. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it uh, two. Or three, actually. You know what? We're also gonna go ahead and give you the black steel plate. Not gonna give you the thorn staff because you have a dark the dark fire sword. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's see. Yeah, let's take the thorn. Let's get that back to the light the laboratory because the black the dark fire sword is much more powerful. Okay, it's gonna be a little over ten turns before I actually get a hole before I actually get to level eight. Probably gonna be closer to about twelve turns from now. Which means it's gonna Take us a while to get to where we can just generate blood magic on our own. Now, in this game, I'm not going to be doing what I did with the Airmore playthrough. I am not going to be blotting out the sun. Because my troops need to be able to see. In this case, they are just regular, pretty bog standard humans. <sighs> I am getting tired, but then again, I haven't been up since 6 this morning. So, let's see, but... Yeah, so I've been up for about 16 straight hours. Without without any kind of real unwinding time. Teaching is a stressful job, folks. It's not a terrible job, it's not the worst job I've ever had, but... It's... If you have trouble dealing with stress, don't become a teacher. It's not for everyone. We are the few, the proud, the mildly insane. I say that as a joke, but I I do actually genuinely think teachers are... We're not all there. Sanity-wise. Teachers are often very intelligent. People f seem to forget that. We do tend to know things, or more things, than our students give us credit for. Lots of fighting going on already. If I had to guess, I think uh, Kale, uh, not Ar not Kale, uh, Arcosafail and Abyssia might actually have spawned closer to each other than they did to me. And I think I, I which is funny because I think I'm like right smack in the middle of the map. Let's actually zoom out and see the map when we get to the back to the back to the map screen. Probably gonna record a third episode tonight. Okay, finally the combat's over, maybe. Okay, Sodden Merc, that's... He only lost a Hand of Justice and a Swordsman. Well done. And an Azure Mage. In Battle of Eric Balcor. Managed to take that one as well. Resources. Ugh. And we're just going to instantly build a temple and quash that superstition. Like I said, this is going to be the last of the wall provinces. So, 100 gold into the province defense. Okay. 
begin building a citadel. Once Karmut bites it, because he's going to eventually, maybe. And now we're going to begin sending our troop, our assassins, out into the world to do their nefarious deeds. We can still have another 55. <coughs> I think that's 20. Let's see, 20 or 33 resources, 20 would be 660. Roughly. Okay. So, yeah, that does work out. More or less. slightly more comfortable position here. Hopefully that worked, and hopefully I don't lose too much pickup on the mic, although... I, I'm not gonna mess with the pickup setting just yet because I can't see it, it's on the back of the mic. <coughs> Stupid throat tickle. That's, that came out a lot whinier than I was originally intending it to. I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. This is actually the problem with this with this size of a game. It gets worse when you have a full a full on maxed out size because at that point it's just taking so long to do anything. It's I don't play games that big. Not because I can't, but it's because I just don't have the patience. I am a I am actually a very patient person. I will wait for a long time for something that I want to do, but or even, even sometimes something I don't want to do. But I'm not going to sit here for an hour waiting for battles to resolve and the AI to think through what it's doing. There's also the fact that in some cases, I know this was true in Dominions too. Not I don't know how much it is in four, but it used to be that in two, if you did if you did what I'm doing, where it's a solo game with you against AI, the AI would find a way to, would basically ignore each other and just gun for the human. Ooh, an enchanted shield too. Cloudbreakers is turning out to be quite, uh, uh, quite a nice find. Okay, so if I did that right, there should be 13 more coming. Oh, wait, no. There we go. Okay, Kanya. Or however you pronounce your name. Oh, some of his troops. Yeah, a lot of them ran. All right, Henrik, you are now officially warden of Bayville. That's not actually a real thing in this game. It's just I'm, I decided it. He is going to be the general that just sits in Bayville and acts as a buffer zone. <sighs> I'm not sure if I'm going to manage another episode. I actually, after this episode, I'm going to check some stuff I got that I need to know. We'll find out. This might be the episode I need to give me enough of a buffer for all of my shows. We'll find out. 
And yeah, you can actually get abilities for your pretender based solely on how strong their dominion is. Also, if you know anything about this game, you will notice that I don't tend to go for uh, what's known as Bless Rushing. What, is, what that is, is you get a small number of sacred troops led by a priest, who basically stands in the back and blesses them. Because <coughs> blessing gives them increased stats for the battle, or for a while, <coughs> for a while at least. And then he basically, basically you watch as they charge in and start slaughtering things. I also don't do big guy rushes, mostly because, with, at least with Marignan, I don't have access to them. If I was playing Jotunheim, then yeah, I'd have access to it. I still wouldn't do it, because it's a horrible plan, but... In that case, what that is, is instead of having a small number of sacred troops, you just have, like, one or two giant troops that can trample on enemy soldiers. Okay, down into the last few minutes of this episode, folks. Going pretty well so far. <coughs> and I did forget to check where in the world we are in terms of, like, middle, north, south, whatever. I'm going to check that as soon as I can, because I, like, I would like to know. I would also like to know <sighs> where the enemies are. Sleepy Mountains, ooh, plus 10 Nature Gems, Black Alps, ooh, even better. Yeah, we are pretty much right in the middle of the map. Twenty-five more troops. And he can command up to four squads, I remember, so... That's 21, then. Wait. Yeah, because the first 9, then 12 more. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that, that works out. It's going to take a while to recruit them all, but I got time. Alright. Last of the new Assassin's Guild. I'm gonna send them after some easy targets first, or hopefully easy targets. Okay, so apparently we can't go through that mountain pass. Oh well. Actually, what am I doing? You can go up there. Yeah, you don't want to miss uh, mix up. Uh, Disciplined versus undisciplined troops because if you do that like it says all of them become undisciplined and undisciplined troops are Terrible just terrible If I wanted undisciplined troops with Marignan, I would end up picking up the flagellants Their big thing is you can have a lot of them in, in a single army without having any real issues <coughs> Okay this is probably going to be the last turn for this episode because the AI is taking forever. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be the last turn for that. That was going to be. That's definitely going to be the last turn for this episode. Timer's about up. We'll see though. I'll go ahead and. I might actually, depending on when this finishes. No, it's not going to. Not going to finish. Not. Not if it just started doing the battles. Also, I went. Also, I did go and see uh, the new Hunger Games movie. It is very good. It's also. I also like them because they're pretty. They're a lot more faithful to the books than a lot of other adaptations. So, I recommend going to see it if you like the Hunger Games. I also recommend going to see the Peanuts movie because that is just brilliant. It's easily my favorite movie of the year, and I see a lot of movies. Well, folks, that is this episode finished. 
If you enjoy the show, please feel free to like or favorite it on the video, or leave a comment down below. And like I said last time, it does take me it does occasionally take me a, a while before you'll see any results if you give me tips. I am perfectly willing to accept them. But it takes a while because like I said, I do record in bulk. And if you and again, if you enjoy Dota if you enjoy Dota 2 content, please tune in tomorrow night for the next episode of Ran Dota. I'm gonna actually try and see about getting a pro match to cast. Just for just to see how well I can do with that. Because I've tried live casting now. Let's try going up to the pros. Ran Dota is... It originally started off as my idea of... I wanted to do mid-level stuff. But... I, I'm i actually mostly doing that with the 5 to 6, 5 to 6 thousand M MMR. But... I might try some pro, game, some pro games. Because there's a lot of commentary I can make there as well. Also, tune in Fridays now for my new, for the Wild Terraria Fridays series. It's shaping up to be quite fun. If you wanna, if you just, if you missed it, the second episode should be up by now. Or, actually, by this point, it's probably like the fifth episode. I've lost count. Huh. Anyway. And if you want to make sure you never miss an episode of any of my ser any of my three series, folks, please please feel free to click the subscribe button down below, excuse me, or the link at the end of the video. As for that, folks, I have been D. Good night and good gaming.